Hey, great to see you guys again. I want to do uh, your haters. It's a bit of a you versus them, only because I am going to have a look at what you've been up to while they have been hating on you, okay? We use my Just Desserts deck by King of Aloha Tarot. Uh, not calling it karma or anything, just seeing what they might be going through. Like, what's the gossip? What's the tea? What's the tea and biscuits on them, all right? So, um... I'm going to give you um, the crystal choices, okay? So you're going to look at those in a moment. So I have to edit the video for that. Um, and then we will come back to the video. Okay, so first up we will have Carnelian. And then we have Black Tourmaline. And we have a Green Fluorite. Green Fluorite. Right, we're back. Now, hopefully I'm able to <laughs> edit um, those two video bits I did before together and then put it into this one. If not, I screwed everything up. So I will quickly show you again um, the choices for the reading. And of course, this reading is for um, you versus your haters. So basically, what is the T on your haters? But I'm also going to look into you, like what you guys have been doing. Well, they're hating on you. So what have you been doing? All right, first up is a... <clears throat> a carnelian, carnelian crystal. Ooh, second, my personal favorite, black tourmaline. Very good protective stone. Okay. Ooh. We have green fluorite. Green fluorite. Right, okay. So, first up, Carnelian. And don't forget, you know, you can choose more than one reading if the first one doesn't resonate. Maybe you want to watch them all, you know, you get something from all of them. All right, let's see. <clears throat> so, for my viewers who have chosen the Carnelian, Carnelian Crystal, what have my viewers been doing? Yeah, I'm getting like you guys, you know, you're very... Awake now, awake to things that, not that you weren't necessarily awake to before, but you might realize, like, actually, you know, i got to do something about this, whether it's, you know, people-pleasing, things like that, needing more self-love, self-care, you know? I mean, you always get these buzzwords, like, oh, self-love, and do more self-love, but people don't always know what that is, you know? Sometimes you got to put yourself first, step away from... People, places, and things that just don't feel good for you, okay? Uh, bad vibes, you know? A lot of things, you know, to do with vibes, okay? You're getting bad vibes, you just, you know, it affects you. You don't want to be down there, okay? You guys are raising your vibration. So, a lot of clearing, you know? Clearing house. Clearing of connections that just aren't good for you anymore. So, let's see. Cards, oops, what cards do we get for you? Ah. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose three. So let's see, we got dreams. Mm -hmm. Dreams, you guys, you know. Dreams, if you've been remembering your dreams. You start to try and um, you get messages from your dreams. So you may be finding that, you know, you're having dreams that really are, you know, giving you messages, um, things you need to work on, or that you want to interpret your dreams more. And not just sleeping dreams, but actually your dreams. You want to focus more on what you want out of life, you know, your goals and aspirations. Okay, and maybe you feel like, you know, you've been hanging around people who, Put that down, celebrate. Yeah. You want to celebrate life more. You want to celebrate what you have, be more grateful for the things you have. You want to have more good times, you know? You want less of, just less of the bad or less of negative in your life. You know, maybe you've been through a really bad relationship, bad friendship, okay? But no, you want to celebrate, concentrate more on the good times. You want to manifest better times, okay? And just celebrate yourself, okay, with the self-love. Celebrate yourself. 
And what else do we have? Letting go, yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. You guys are letting go of a lot of things that you need to let go of. And you know how it goes with the universe. If you don't do it, it will happen anyway. It will happen. And sometimes you'll go back to something you were supposed to let go of and you go back and then you find that um, it just doesn't work and you have to let go again. It's just another lesson. It's a lesson. You want to get off that cycle, that wheel of doing the same thing over and over again. You're dealing with the same people, same type of situations over and over again. And yeah, that's what you are doing. That's what you are concentrating on. Right, so... I'm just going to choose, this isn't, um, you know, it's not like, you know, you don't have to focus on the star signs, but for some reason, I just want to choose some star signs that you may be dealing with. This is for your hater. It could also just be the energy they're embodying, but if it doesn't resonate or if you don't know, don't worry about it, okay? It's just an extra, okay? It's just an extra for the reading. Gemini, right? Gemini came out. So I've got a small table here, so I just need to move things over. So Gemini, you could be dealing with a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. Hmm. And like I say, it could just be the energy. Um, and you know, and it's also the person's chart. You're probably not gonna know your hater's chart. Okay. Lots of air, lots of air. My goodness, lots of air. Let go of that old stale air, okay? That's what you were doing, letting go. Right, okay, what is the T? What is the T on? My viewers haters, what is the T? Oops. What is the tea? What might they be going through? What is the gossip on the haters? Sorry, I can't keep hold of this deck. It's slippery, it's still new. So, doo -doo -doo. it does save time having pre-chosen cards, but just didn't feel right this time, okay? So, wait, hold on a second. Let's get more comfortable. Right. Oop. Okay. That doesn't feel right yet. Hold on. Right, here we go. <clears throat> what is the tea? What is going on? What is the gossip? What might your haters be going through? And of course, as you know, it could be having happened already, happening now, or about to happen. Okay, oops. Oh, for goodness sake. They're being difficult. Your hater is difficult, but what hater isn't? Okay. <clears throat> and you know, I just want to say quickly, um, <laughs> you know, the mainstream idea of karma. Well, if you go by that definition, and if the haters like trying to wish karma on you and all this kind of stuff, well, all that hating on someone they should realize it's going to fuck up their karma. So, oh well. Anyway, lack of clarity. Okay, yes, you're, ooh, okay, your haters are feeling anxious and stressed. Some are feeling lost, unable to see or think clearly. Lack of clarity. Hmm. All right. Let's get some more. Let's get some more. Anxious and stressed. Are they anxious and stressed because... You've walked away. You're not giving to them. What's this one? Lack. Hmm? The feeling lack. Abundance reversals. Their abundance is going to reverse. Okay. The feeling helpless and hopeless. Blockage. Tough times. And a divine cycle. Some of them are going through a divine cycle. And we get another card. Hmm. And again, you're not wishing this on anyone. It's just, you know, whatever happens, happens. Whatever level someone's vibrating at is what they're going to get. And if you're vibrating on a low level, which any hater is, 
you know, and gossip spreaders and people doing smear campaigns, well then, you're just going to attract more shit, all right? Because you can only attract what you are vibrating on, okay? Law of attraction. Okay, karma means action. Karma's action. Oops. Right, hold on. Ah, uh, yeah. This might be causing them stress and anxiety as well for some reason. And again, it's quite, it's kind of sick when people are like that. Unless, you know, I mean, if it's like, um, if you're having like, if this is your ex-partner, then yes, this would cause stress. Seeing you happy and moving on, finding true love. So yeah, okay, a lot of you guys, this has been a partner. Your partner is hating on you, okay? I'm going to use that expression, hating on you. We're just not happy moving, uh, you moving on. Building a new life. Your dreams are coming true. Okay, but what hater will hate that? And they're feeling, yeah, I mean, I'm feeling more that this is, it could be a friendship, but I am feeling more that this is a relationship, an ex for you guys, and they're feeling really stressed about this, anxious and lost, helpless. They don't know what to do. Um, yeah. It's like they're still going through that cycle. Like maybe you were in a cycle with this person and you finally thought, no, because you're letting that go. You have to. You have to step off the wheel. And sometimes it really is just one person who steps off the wheel. And, yeah, and you just... And they're still just on that cycle, you know. Yep. Right, yeah, no, so really the tea on them is they are stressed. They are not happy seeing you being happy and moving on. Moving on with your life. Celebrating good times. Going for your dreams. But, again, I still think you're interpreting dreams as well. Because... Watch your dreams, okay? There are messages in your dreams. And yeah, you're getting rid of the air. Getting rid of the air. And yes, this was shuffle. <laughs> I didn't put them together by all of this, but yeah. So yeah. Wow. Here we go. So yeah, that's it, guys. You have in this reading a very stressed out ex-partner. Like I say, it could be a friend, but get more of a love vibe but yes any hater will not be happy seeing you move on and that is the best revenge just moving on being happy all right letting go letting go you're doing good you are doing excellent 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 you are doing the right thing okay? you're on the right path if you had any doubt you are on the right path okay it's not easy not always easy letting go, even letting go of toxic people and things, but you know, but you are on the right path. So excellent, excellent. Right. Black tourmaline. Black tourmaline. Let's see what is going on with you guys. What have you guys been doing? Let's get a little bit of information here. Mm-hmm. What are you guys doing? Right, so I'm going to choose three cards. Self-care. Self-care. Yeah. Self-care. As I was saying in the previous reading, I forgot to start. <laughs> rambling on in this one but actually like i was saying you guys um you know you're waking up you know you're letting things go letting toxic things go focusing more on yourself what's right for you what feels good what doesn't feel good you don't want you know bad vibes no you know you get people with bad vibes no no no, no. you don't want to deal with that anymore and why should you and you don't want to lower your vibration you want to keep your vibration higher so you need to let oops, Things go psychic becoming more psychic you know you're listening to your intuition again the vibes you know do not ignore that okay so many times I've actually ignored my intuition and I realized looking back I'm thinking you know I have those feelings but you don't it's hard to sometimes you know understand what they are because you're thinking oh am I just being cautious am I just being you know because you don't want to be overly cautious where you don't have any kind of connections with people or, or go you know um, 
into a new relationship and everything just because you've been hurt. You know, you do need to be open. You do need, you know, to give things a chance. But sometimes you really do get those vibes, you know. You, you even see the red flags. Red flags right in front of your face. You don't even need intuition for that. You know, some red flags are just so obvious. But, you know, I was always under, like, the kind of impression of, oh, well, if they don't, they don't mess with me or if they don't turn on me, that's fine. Or, you know, because I was always, like, proud I'd tolerate stuff or, you know, more understanding about people's, I don't know, issues or attitudes or whatever. And I don't know if I would completely change that, you know, and, and it's hard to sometimes completely change yourself. But, you know, I am going to be less uh, tolerant of things like that, I think, you know. And, but also, of course, always look at yourself. I'm always aware of what I do. I aware, I'm aware of my behaviors, good, bad, ugly. We're all good, bad, and ugly, as you know. And that is the truth. But you get people who just stand, like, sit up there like this, like, oh, they're great. But they're the ones actually shitting on others, aren't they? Teaching. Teaching came out. Teaching, yeah. So... You know, you guys are, well, teaching yourselves, but not just that. I think that you are actually going to be inspired um, to help others through things. So help others break from a toxic relationship or friendships or just things that aren't good for them. Okay. Um, you may take up tarot reading. You may be here helping and teaching, you know, through your experiences. Okay. So, yes, right. Now, as I was saying in the previous reading, I am just adding some star signs into this, right? This is on your haters now. We're going to get the tea and biscuits on your haters. I'm just going to pick three star signs that you may be dealing with. Um, it could just be their energy as well that they're embodying. But if you don't know, don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. This is just an extra for people who are interested in the star signs. And I always thought everyone was interested in star signs with tarot, but it doesn't really seem to be that way, so, oh. But, here we go. But, of course, there's more to things than just the star signs, and, you know. Leo. Bit of fire there, Leo. Oh, Libra. Libra wants to come out again. I'm going to pick another up, right? And Aquarius again. What, what is it with the air signs today? Air signs causing problems. Air signs... Hmm. Right, okay, well, what is the tea? The tea and biscuits on your haters, okay? What is the tea and biscuits? What is the gossip? What are they going through? Now, again, this could be having already been happening, is happening, or is about to happen, okay? When you're on a low vibration, because if you're hating on others, then you are on a low vibration. Yeah, I mean, it's natural to be angry at someone, this, that, and the other. But when you go out on, like, smear campaigns and someone's, like, trying to, I don't know, really fuck with you or whatever they're trying to do, talk bad about you and everything, they're on a low vibration. And, you know, it's all just going to go. Because that's what you attract. It's all about vibrations. Ooh, okay. <laughs> well, for some of you guys, and this may be good news because, again, I don't know if you have someone who's being, like, a stalker, obsessed, you know. And, again, that's what happens. People hate on you. They're so obsessed. <laughs> This person's going to jail behind bars, right? For some of you, they're behind bars. I should laugh. The crimes, the guilt. Oh, guilt by association. Interesting. Yeah, it might be their enablers and supporters. Enablers, I mean, to me, enablers are just as guilty. They're also cowards because they're afraid to be the next target and they could easily become the next target. Though it's usually with very toxic people. It's usually um, someone they're close to. But not always. They will turn on someone who disagrees with them or speaks out against them or just stands up for what's right isn't it right uh some of them might be framed caught in the act of doing something or like you know unpaid warrants or citations things like that so they're just going to get in trouble for something dodgy right that's for some of you there <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right wow and again it doesn't have to be anything that they've done to you it's just oops. Do you know what I mean? It's not like like for like. It's just whatever this person is doing. I mean, who knows who you are dealing with, right? Okay, also unexpected debts. Okay, this your haters are going to be facing financial problems, okay? Loans, stress, lots of stress, juggling finances, been negligent with money, so bills are gonna get unexpected. Could be unexpected, but I think for some, of course, expected because they're probably 
crappy with money or spending it or whatever, but you can have some kind of problem. Hmm. And it could go with also the unpaid, like parking tickets and things like that. That's going to sneak up. It's going to sneak up on them. And let's get some more. Let's get some more. What's the gossip? What's the gossip? Ooh. Now, hold on. <clears throat> I'll take this from the other two. Oops, the other two on the floor. I'm not going to take. Right. Um, yeah, the relationship. They're going to have problems with their relationships. Relationships going to fall apart. Um, you know, their emotions are going to be really high. So there's going to be lots of like mood swings and, you know, upset. Yeah, egos, differences of egos ego problems but of course there is an ego problem anyway with haters all right so you have an ego problem with them but yeah they're gonna have lots of problems lots of problems with uh, money and relationships and it doesn't have to be love relationship any relationship they could fall out with family fall out with other friends their you know supporters neighbors whoever whatever but you know shit's going down shit is going down that is that and you guys don't care because you are getting into your self-care self-love you're listening to intuition becoming more psychic more aware of this stuff and you want to help others and you're teaching yourself first as well to you know spot the red flags and not deal with this kind of thing anymore and you know the thing is when something's not meant for you i'm sure you've heard this you know the universe will make sure but if you don't walk away, that you'll have to walk away. It will have to be ended. It will disrupt in some way. And like I was saying previously, like if you do go back to something that, you know, if you go back to an ex that you really know you shouldn't do, you know, yeah, you can go back, but it's still going to fall apart again. I mean, it's not for every single scenario. You know, if something's meant to be, it's meant to be. But you know what I mean. If something is really bad, really toxic, and you know that, you know, you know, I shouldn't be there. And you just keep going back. You can't help yourself. It's almost like a habit. You know, you're on that hamster wheel and you can't stop. But, you know, you have to jump off. It's going to be disrupted. All right. Um, you know, the universe likes balance, you know, reciprocal, mutual relationships, things like that. So, yeah, I know you guys are learning. You guys are moving on. You are letting go of that shit. And you're focusing more on yourself. And also, because you're focusing more on yourself, even if you didn't just walk away from someone, Let's say you have a friend and I don't know, or let's say if someone it could be a family member who's always just kind of, I don't know, maybe you were people pleasing to them or maybe um, they just always want your attention or they're always coming after you for something. I don't know. Um, and you decide to pull back and like, no, I need to focus on myself. That can start bringing um, someone to hate on you, you know, believe it or not. <laughs> people. Well, they can be selfish and do what they want. It's not actually selfish, but you know what I mean. You get those people who are like, you know, they're happy. They have their boundaries, but you cannot have your boundaries. So, no. You are learning to let go of that, okay? Let go of or to distance yourself from situations and people like that. And yes, that will bring haters. So, let them, you know, because you're going to be up here and down there. That's that, right? Green Aventurine. Green Aventurine. Right? This is about your haters, but first I'm going to have a little look at you. Let's see what's going on. What have you been doing? Well, someone's giving you the evil eye, okay? <clears throat> well, they're vibrating low. Vibrating low, you're going to attract low things, even if it seems like they're living it up. No, it doesn't work that way. Trust me. Um, I trust the universe, you know, it's all about vibration, matching, matching vibrations. So if you're hating on people and doing smear campaigns and stuff like that, well, that's not going to be good vibration, is it? And if you want to use karma in the mainstream definition of like, you know, you know, so basically like how everyone thinks of karma. So that's not going to be good karma, is it, hating on other people? Because, you know, you're not supposed to do that. So, <clears throat> tell you what, live and let live. <laughs> right. <clears throat> so, you guys, let's choose three cards. Okay, 
it. So I'm going to choose it like this. Okay, so shuffle it. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, celebrate. That came out before. Lots of celebration going on. Doesn't mean you're having parties, but it means like, you know, you're celebrating yourself as well. You want to celebrate good things in life. You, you want to get rid of the shit. You want to focus more on good things and more gratitude. Celebrate yourself, okay? More self-love, self-focus, you know, um, celebrate your um, more healthy connections, your good friendships and good, you know, possible good relationships. Or if you're in a good relationship now and you got rid of a toxic relationship, you know, celebrate that. Focus more on the good. You know, especially during tough times. You know, that's just... You want to focus more on keeping your vibration higher. Okay, what else we got? Woke. Yes, you've woken up. You have woken up to the toxicity, negativity, you know, red flags, things like that. I mean, it's not even that... Like, red flags, for example, can be so obvious. And, you know... Easier said than done. We sometimes we just purposely ignore them because we think, oh, well, they won't be like that to us. Well, you know, and anything's possible, but things happen. We do sort of put up with things. Be more awake, um, you know, like more spiritually awake, you know, like you're here, you're, you know, looking at tower readings. You know, you're more awake to, you know, the universe, to manifesting, to vibrations and law of attraction. You're just more awake to things that you're putting up with, right? Oh, what else we got here? Manifest, yeah. Like I said, you're manifesting. You are more aware. Manifesting, okay? You want a higher vibration. You want to manifest better for yourself. You're concentrating. You're pulling away from certain pla uh, people, you know, p places and things, whatever. Things that you just don't feel right about anymore. Things that just... <sighs> Leave a bad taste in your mouth or, you know, uh, when you're getting bad vibes, okay? Always pay attention to that. Pay attention to your intuition. You know, it's not always clear what it's about, but, you know, just think about it. When you think about it, you go, oh, God, yeah, I had that feeling. I had that feeling. Why did I ignore it? You know, it's always easier to say in hindsight, but, no, you are more awake to that now. You are more aware, okay? And that can bring about haters because if you start distancing yourself from people who are just treating you badly, you know, or taking the piss, trying to control you, manipulate you, belittle you, insult you, and claim they never did it, or, oh, you know, you're too sensitive, or, oh, I just tell it like it is, and blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, you know, telling something like it is and being an asshole, two different things, aren't they? You know, purposely being a jerk. And you also know that whoever that was doing that to you wasn't like that at first, because why would you even be friends with that person? They do it later for reasons to try and control you, down your confidence. So, oh, wait, hold on. I'm going too quick with the, <laughs> look, regrets. But anyway, hold on. I meant to, uh, <laughs> I'm already going for the tea and biscuits on your haters. But I wanted to, as an extra, for those interested, I'm going to pull out three star signs that you may be dealing with. And, um, you know, or who, who are embodying the um, energy of those signs but if you don't know it you know don't worry about it doesn't matter we've been getting a lot of air for some reason <laughs> a lot of air you know air elements a bit hate on people i don't know but anyway so what have we got this time aquarius again i think that's three times in a row literally aquarius three times in a row come on aquarius stop hating libra again that's either two or three times now mm -hmm. Jeez. I mean, yeah, you can, <laughs> there's not as, you know, there's only a certain amount of star so it's obviously, you know, it's easier to pick out um, the same ones again, but, right, let's see what else we get. Sagittarius, I think that came out in the first one, okay. So we got Aquarius, Libra, and Sagittarius. Yeah, Sagittarius could be a bit difficult to deal with, I think, I mean, when there's, when things are bad, you know, but anyone, anyone can be bad to deal with. So what are we getting? We are getting um, regrets, all right? Your hater is having some regrets, constant thoughts of sadness, disappointment, repentance, and loss. Ooh, could be an ex-partner, but also friendship, of course. Maybe even a family member. <clears throat> anyone, but there is regrets there. 
But again, I have a feeling, and not for everyone, obviously, you know, you may find out they feel regrets, whatever. But a lot of times it's just, yeah, this could be, <laughs> this could be, um, you know, uh, hidden, kept inside, and you'll never see. It might even make them more angry. And, uh, ooh, okay. Right. Not nice, but a lot of them, well, some of them could be dealing with some domestic violence or escalated arguments. Uh, getting, there's a lot of um, you know, stress, a lot of tempers, a lot of anger. Hold on, just need some water. Mm. Obviously, there'd probably be a lot of anger directed towards you. Some of them might have trouble with police and court. I think a few of you might might have had to take someone to court for doing something towards you, you know? Ugh. But yeah, all right, let's see what else. Let's see what else. Hmm. I mean, here, if you look at the picture, I was just thinking, you know, talk about tempers and stress and thinking about regrets. Um, it could also be like they're having a tantrum of the fact that, you know, you walked away or you're not fighting with them or you're not like playing with them anymore. So it could be like a temper tantrum, you know, a bitching, who knows. <laughs> Desserts always look so nice on these cards. You think, how could it be that bad? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, let's see. What else? Oh, this one came from one. Car issues. Car issues. <clears throat> Unexpected car trouble. Engine troubles, break-in, grand theft, flat tires, accidents, and repossession. Okay. Mm. Just lots of stuff going wrong, it sounds like, for them. So, yeah, and the regrets. But like I said, like I feel like the regrets could be leading to also just more anger and hatred. And, you know, because they're not getting their way and they're kind of like, you know, it's a disappointment part of it. A disappointment. Because disappointment isn't always like a feeling of sadness. You know, you get people... With their egos and they're really like self-centered and they're just like disappointment that just makes them angry makes them angry yeah so mm -hmm. so what else am i getting yeah. so yeah yeah no you woke up you woke up and yeah they're feeling your loss they are feeling your loss you walked away from whoever this is you walked away or you distanced yourself which is another way of walking away we're trying to walk away uh, to keep in, but keep things more peaceful. But that doesn't always work. Um, yeah, they're not happy. I see a person crying and screaming right there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, that makes for unhappiness there. That will make for some hatred on you. No, you want to manifest. You're concentrating on yourself. Good times. All right, you're too awake to all this shit. And like I say, you know, even if you go back to something, it's bound to just it'll go wrong again. In most cases, if it's that toxic and you're not supposed to be with them. So and I don't think you're going to go back. You're too awake, man. You're too awake. But anyway, that's what's happening with them. And hopefully <laughs> they will see the light and snap out of it. Because that type of low vibration, they're not going to get anything good, right? Or whatever they get good is going to go wrong. And they're going to fall out with lots of people if they're acting that way, huh? So there you go. Oh. Hey guys, I am so tired. Um, I wanted to get a video out. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. And please do like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon. Take care.